Ready. And racing, sprinting out to the lead out wide is Nina Baxter. Coming forward to Opawa Spice. Bot along the rail then is going to be Southern Lights to the first corner, but runs wide though. Collects S direction. Pushes it back towards the tail. Into the back they go. Nina Baxter in front. Chasing it hard now is Private Action. Then we go back in the race to Southern Lights Royal Action. Opawa Spice tries to run on again, but is not travelling well. Further back in the field, you know Marguerite S direction. Last of all, Opawa Bucks eye on the turn. Nina Baxter with a smart beginning in front and out of trouble the first. Nina Baxter B Private action second, Southern Lights third. Then came You Know Marguerite, followed back in the race then by Opawa Spice, who was smashed into the first bend. Esther Action, Opawa Buckseye, and Royal Action will be the last one home. She looked okay early, the favourite, but uh, got on all sorts around the first bend when uh, Southern Lights and Esther Action wanted to go wide, but Nina Baxter up front. And at start number 17, we'll get the prize. Placed in both times here at the track too, so probably should have given it a second look. Nina Baxter will score. Racing hard and faster stood there, missed it. It was last out. First out was Hyde Baxter out wide, pushing the rails going. Pronto Tatum Baxter trying to get a real from the inside now. Hard and Baxter still a chance. Following it through Crystal Flame out the back door. Another Russ Princely count and my Baxter on the turn. Going Pronto in front, hard and faster coming strongly, but too late. Going Pronto rocks them. Beats out hard and faster. Then we go to Crystal Flame in a line up there with Hyde Baxter, Tatum Baxter. A gap in the race then to another Russ, Meyer Baxter and Princely Count. Oh, there's the Ruffy. First leg of the quaddy going pronto for Johnny Allen. It's a little the favourite. Two lengths last out of the traps and it still runs second, the Demon Railer. But you can't afford to miss the kick like that over 310. It's done well to get to second, but going pronto. It's done nothing in two runs here. Better last week at Ascot. But uh, this will cause a big upset here in race two. Racing Shelly McBell comes out running with Kentaro Baxter hunting the rails in Brindy's Bro. No Tinkerbell wide out of the track. Apollo King stomping around them. Morning Gypsies well back in the field. Can't win with Lynn Baxter and Cloudy Noir on the turn in front. Shelly McBell coming after it. Kentaro Baxter, but Shelly McBell in today beats Kentaro Baxter. Brindy's Bro to third. Then came Apollo King next to No Tinkerbell. A gap in the race to Lynn Baxter, Cloudy Noir, and Morning Gypsy will be the last of them in. Shelley McBell went out favourite Friday, 3.41.30 today, closed off second favourite, and it will get the prize. Jumped out brilliantly, Kentaro Baxter headed the chase after, and I did say it was going to be one at the jump for sure, and I'm sure one of the top four were going to jump. It did, race over. Shelley McBell races away over Kentaro Baxter, he gets another tote place, and it'll pick one up at short notice. And the two Brindies Bro getting to third and the big boy Apollo King. Ready to jump. Third lead of the opening quaddy racing. Off the inside, Cabarita comes out running along with a smash. Easy home bush. Riley pushes the rail. Trying to get around them too is Sally, but she's in big trouble. Corborn Doze has been checked out the back door. Back with it, Puka go thunder and also another Jamie on the turn in front. Cabarita home bush. Riley headed the chase. Cabarita hanging on just. Cabarita beats home bush. Riley. Third and smash easy. Followed across the line then by Pukiko Thunder and Sally. Back in the race then to Mamalulu. Never in it. Another Jamie was back and last in was Corborn Dozer after coughing in a uh, nose into the sand across the top. Cabarita, second up back in C1. That was the downgrader we should have been on and jumped out brilliantly from box one. 
He did the chase after it was Homebush Riley. There'll be one, two. You see the trouble in behind Sally. She didn't jump the boxes today, and she's just trying to get around them. And she copped a bit of trouble. She uh, smashed Corborn Dozer, who was lucky not to hit the deck. opening quaddy ready racing Falante comes out pretty well headed off though by Opawa Loy coming forward also as Homebush Coral and also pushing between dogs as Pukeko Prowler around the first bend they go just colliding at the back tilt and gold star Poe they drop towards the tail into the back they go Opawa Loy Falante's got the rails if good enough three or four back Homebush Coral Moon and Sea runs on around those further back subterfuge gold star Poe two at the tail tilt and Pukeko Prowler on the turn Opawa Loy kicking pretty well Falante back to the rails but Opawa Loyan beats out Moon and see another big run third and Falante followed back then by the next uh, subterfuge running on with Gold Star Poe further back home Bush Coral Pukiko Prowler and Till to be the last one in Opawa Loy on the bunny and uh, has won the battle of the dogs who had placed here a couple of times previously Opawa Loy, Josh Lane and Robin Wales, they always get one or two here at Fulbury. And this one's just keep running. Favourite the four, racing, she's a stride, slow amber light, starts to kick now though. No Smiggle was the first one out. Going after really what I like. Pushing up as Amberlight right between Greyhounds. Strikes a bit of trouble and gets shuffled back to last. And Stitch up. Copped a bit of a check. So did a no laughing. Into the back they go. What I like's in front. Head of the chases. No Smiggle. Starting to run as no neglect. Amberlight's found the rails but started to run. Back on the race is no answer. Well back also is Pukiko. Bolt Stitch up. And back with it now is no laughing on the turn. What I like still in front. And kicking Amberlight coming home too late. What I like. Like again. What I like beats Amberlight. Third across, no answer. Late on the scene, too, would have been no smiggle. Followed back in the uh, was no laughing, in fact, the next. Back then also would have been, uh, as they pull up back there on crossing, there would have been stitch up. Pukeko Bolt never in it today. And uh, back also would have been uh, no neglect of it. No, it wasn't no neglect. It was no laughing back amongst the tail enders. Couldn't... Uh, could move for nose there, but as they come up to the straight, what I like on the bunny and home. Amber Light's got going late to second. No neglects there for third. And no answer. Running on strongly in front of no smiggle. And racing, sprinting out to the lead there is Brandish coming forward the inside. Bella Grayson right up there to Opawa Darcy. Round the outside, Pukiko Warrior. Further back then is Goodsy Human Instinct. Homebush Spike doesn't want to be there today. And last of all, Sells Babe on the turn. Opawa Darcy's racing right away. Head of the chase is Brandish. Opawa Darcy, Brandish. Bella Grace, Homebush Spike into fourth. She ran home well too late though. Then Glenn is Goodsy. Pukiko Warrior. Two at the tail, Sells Babe. And Human Instinct back with it. Oh, Opawa Darcy, too good today, 391.50 at tote close. Brandish has gone to a race off the reserve bench, and uh, right up there too was uh, Bella Grace in front of Homebush Spike, who didn't jump today, and no wonder he's won four from 55, because he'd heartbreak you, wouldn't you? You look at him out the back, he's got to the outside and sped home into fourth, but we won't cry over spilt milk, because Opawa Darcy's given them a good slapping. And he'll run away in store and race seven over Brandish in the two in front of the three. And I guess that's what you'd get for backing Ombush Spike on the snot box. Date of the day. 
Racing stepping out pretty well. No bro to run to the lead over Terramondo. Out wide on the track. Keen man, another jewel pushes. Painter around the outside. Fireman's jealousy getting into the race. Uh, checks for what he's gone. O'Parvel has an ambush. Buck on the turn. No bro's in front. Terramondo heads the chase. No bro. Keep kicking the little girl. You're in again. No bro. Beats Terramondo. Then we go to Fireman's jealousy. Right up there, another jewel. Then Keen man. Gap in the race to O'Parvel has what he's gone. And ambush Buck. Your little beauty. Racing Roadwork stood there and missed it. First out, Miss Softy. Kyla Rose heads the chase right up there to Opawa Hold. Along the inside of Judith Cater. Following them through Roadwork. Still have big chances. Didn't drag down a behind Miss Softy. Wide out on the track. Trying to run on to a Judith Cater on the turn. Kyla Rose, no salute down the outside. No salute with luck. No salute beats Roadworks who found all sorts of potholes. Then we go to Kyla Rose. Followed back in the race of Judith Cater, Opawa Hold. Back there also would have been uh, on crossing also Chainbow. Homebush uh, Slinky and it was back on crossing with uh, the last of them and Miss Softy got dragged down across the top oh that was rough 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 no salute though slow getaway but he took advantage of the big trouble across the top when uh, the five Kyler Rose tried to put kennel mate Miss Softy into the fence and did so and no salute will get over the top And racing, sprinting out to the lead there. Centre track bound to a rough gold star. Rosie now along the inside as Opawa Sam. Right hand to the first bend. No jinx is right up there too. And she gets a lovely run to the first corner. Back in the race now is gold star Rosie. Well back also Opawa Ken to expect delay. And gold star Junior. Down the back they go in front of this bound to a rough head of the chase. So is no jinx. She's only two lengths away. Then came Opawa Sam. Gap in the race to gold star Rosie. Further back Kinlock action. Expect delay. Opawa Kendall. Gold star Junior. No Jinx sails on by and wins the race. No Jinx defeats, bound to erupt. Then we go to Opawa, Sam, further back of the race. To Kinlot Action, a good run first up. Then we go to Expect Delay, Opawa, Kendall, Gold Star, Junior, Gold Star, Rosie. No Jinx. When she got handy to the first bend, she was always going to be hard to beat. And no trouble today. She's breezed on by up the straight. Bound to erupts, fought well. So too Opawa, Sam. And we'll paste Kinlock action into the black book after his first run for eight months. Favourite the black and white, ready. Race and he stood there and missed it. LBJ first out, Jewel Eagle from Jemima T and hunting forward out wide. Opawa Michelle to the first bend. Right up there now is LBJ who pushes along the rail and it just carves up a couple. Opawa Michelle got shunted to the outside. Jemima T and Andrea trying to get underneath them, dropping to the tail. Opawa Michelle now down the back they go in front. Jewel Eagle coming after it, zipping Sunny two or three back. Jemima T, LBJ. Then came Andrea the rails further back in the race. Willis plenty to do with no hero and Opawa Michelle, but up the they come, Jewel Eagle hanging on, late LBJ, Jewel Eagle, Jewel Eagle beats LBJ, Zipping Sunny was third, then Andrea running on and out wider, Willis getting home okay too, back in the race, Opawa Michelle, no hero, and Jemima T dropped out of it, Jewel Eagle, $12.20 at Turk Close, for Stephen Bonnie Evans, a couple of lasts at its last couple, but jumped out on the bunny today, and it'll just keep kicking, LBJ, traffic problems, but a much better effort from him to run to second in front of the five, zipping Sunny, and Willis will get to fourth. And 
set to go. Speed front shop. The racing sprinting out to the lead there is Question Bale along there with Homebush. Ariel who shows good box speed too and trying to get around them lots of beers. He's under the rail, Gold Star Bomber. Then we go back to Gigineer, thrilling spells a long way back with Gold Star Magic. Costing money, whips them in. Up they come, Homebush Ariel kicking down the outside. Lots of beers. He's Homebush Ariel beats lots of beers. He's Gold Star Bomber. Late on the scene, thrilling spell. Back in the race to Question Bale. Back to Gold Star Magic. Costing money, cost plenty. And and uh, get in here. No, get your money for you. He'll be last in. Homebush Ariel. Oh, she can do this too. She'll get it and take out race number 12. Six, eight, four, and seven the way they've crossed Daryl after race number 12. Ready to go. And racing another 14 comes out running along there with a tea time and Sandy Claus pushes the rail. Then came Rich Terra, two or three back in the race, Homebush Chopper. Then came Sprinkles Idol Girl, last of all, Opala Opal around the turn and tea time's cooking with Sir Gastonay coming after another 14, but tea time. Tea time beats another 14. Sandy Claus had run third. Then came Rich Terra back in the race, then to Homebush Chopper, Idol Girl, Opala Opal and Sprinkles beaten off at the rear. Oh, tea time. Away it goes. 2.61.60. And that's two in a week. And uh, Ray Adcox got her humming today because that was a very strong race. And she's jumped and run. Time will be interesting. Gee, another fortune. He's learned how to jump the boxes at the right time of his career when he's getting up in the grades. He still wanted to cover plenty. But he's a good dog. And Sandy Claws off the inside. She's done a cheeky race for third in front of Rich Terra, who's fourth to tea time. And racing Brendan's puzzle comes out running along there with Mickey T. The match race is on. No Leaf Clover pushes along the inside. Then we go back to Zorba the Greek. While back, Corbin Jelly. Homebush Rocky's off the track and getting past that. No knowing and Opawa stretch on the corner. In front still Brendan's puzzle. And he's going to race away and is for his first win in the NZ. Brendan's puzzle beats Mickey T. Third of them in No Leaf Clover. Then we go to Zorba the Greek. Next in No Knowing. Out wider to Corbin Jelly. Further back in the race then was Opawa stretch and Homebush Rocky. The last of them to taste the lure for the season. Brendan's puzzle, good way to wrap it up, and someone got plenty punching it into a dollar seventy. That totally.